Have you ever said actuellement before finding out it actually means currently, not actually? Or instead of talking about the substance they add to food to make it last longer, you randomly talked about a popular contraceptive? I won't tell anyone. In this video, I want to take you through some lesser known faux amis or false friends so that you don't fall into the language traps they set and thus stand out from other foreign speakers of French. Du coup, si vous êtes prêts, allez. C'est parti. So, faux amis are words whose spelling closely resembles a word in the other language, but whose meanings do not, and that part is key. First of all, how do you think you say to assume something in French, as in to make an assumption? And I'll give you a couple of seconds here to think of your answer. Well, I can tell you that it certainly isn't assumer quelque chose. And that's our first faux ami on this list. I assume you're coming tonight. Can you take me with you? Wouldn't be j'assume que tu viens ce soir. Tu peux m'emmener avec toi. But instead, je suppose que tu viens ce soir. Je suppose que tu viens ce soir. With the verb supposer. Likewise, an assumption is une supposition. Une supposition. So in order to not make an ass out of you, <laughs> go with supposer. One other meaning of to assume is to accept something or to take something on. And this is when you can use assumer. J'assume toute la responsabilité du gestion du projet. J'assume toute la responsabilité du gestion du projet. But it's a little bit more formal. Ensuite, how do we say sensible in French? The fact that it makes it onto this list should tell you that it's not simply a case of pronouncing sensible à la française in a French way. Et non, tant pis. <laughs> Alors, if you say je suis très sensible when you meet your girlfriend's parents for the first time, you've just told them that you're very sensitive, which you might well be, but it's not going to reassure them that you're not going to get their daughter into trouble. So, if you want to say sensible in this context, you need to say responsable, which does also mean responsible, by the way. In other contexts, prudent ou prudente may be more applicable. I often see it written on road signs. However, sensible definitely means sensitive and you see it on all sorts of skincare products, for example, because we talk about sensitive skin. Up next is a verb that looks a lot like achieve, but unless your goal is to kill someone, it's not going to be the verb you want to use. Achevé, achevé, is our next false friend or faux ami. And it means to end something, anything, even to finish someone off. <laughs> it's more common to hear terminer, terminer ou finir for finishing something in everyday French, but achever is possible too. Par exemple, Alex, le dîner est prêt. Tu viens? Oui, j'achève mes devoirs et j'arrive. Oui. J'achève mes devoirs et j'arrive. If you want to say I achieved my goal of watching all of Alex's videos, you can say j'ai réalisé mon but de regarder toutes les vidéos d'Alex. J'ai réalisé, j'ai réalisé mon but. In Montpellier, where I live, I'm close by to a lot of beautiful limestone caves with magnificent natural underground structures. But the word une cave in French actually refers to underground storage, which we would call a cellar. Une cave, une cave. Une cave à vin is a wine cellar and a popular use of the word that you'll find in French. So when you're looking at properties in France, don't be scared that there's a cave included. There aren't any trolls, just extra storage space. Where a troll could hide himself. Hmm. <laughs> Bref, the word for a cave in French is une grotte, une grotte. And I'm sure you can see the resemblance to the word grotto, which we typically only use at Christmas, right? One potentially embarrassing faux ami is the verb introduire, introduire. It looks like introduce, right? Indeed, in some contexts, it can mean to introduce, like to put your card into an ATM, you introduce your card. Or in grammar, to say that une préposition introduit other words to the sentence. However, when I was a lot more inexperienced and had recently arrived in France, I said to someone, il m'a introduit 
à elle, or something like that, which actually means something like he penetrated me to her. Oops. <laughs> so if you want to say he introduced us, you use the verb présenter. Présenter. Il nous a présenté. Il nous a présenté. When you're talking about your journey with French, you will sometimes want to talk about the stage you're at or the stages you've gone through to get to where you are now. To do that, you won't talk about ton stage or le stage. Un stage is actually a training program or an internship that you're participating in. A very common word that I hear a lot here in France. Par contre, or on the other hand, to talk about your stage in the French process, you can use the words un stade, une étape, or une phase. À ce stade de mon apprentissage du français, je connais tous les faux amis, mais je les oublie quand je parle. À ce stade de mon apprentissage du français, je connais tous les faux amis, mais je les oublie quand je parle. At this stage of my journey with French, I know all the false friends, but I forget them all when I speak. If you want to get a complete list of faux amis in French, including the ones from this video, as well as many more, click the link in the description below to download a PDF copy. And please do leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it and a comment to let me know which faux amis were new to you. À la prochaine tout le monde. Ciao.